Okay guys, Wing Merchant Gaming here, and uh, today I'll be reviewing Skydive Proximity Flight for the Xbox 360. Now, uh, the developer, uh, producer, publisher, whatever, uh, was kindly enough to uh, actually give me a code in order to review this game. Now, he did ask me specifically to try it out using Connect. however, I have got rid of my Kinect, uh, and uh, I can't actually try the Connect features out, but supposedly the Connect features are pretty precise. Anyway, onto the game. So basically, uh, your, your, your guess is pretty much as good as everyone's guess. Skydive is all about skydiving, and um, you've got uh, options from challenges, adrenaline race to freestyle, and friends challenges. Now, friends challenges are basically uh, a bit like trials challenges in the fact that your score c compares a bit against their score. Uh, unfortunately, there was no uh, or is no unlo online mode. Uh, implemented into the game but there is leaderboards and as with every uh, XBLA game there's achievements now you can uh, also record your gameplay it, it does record it you can save your gameplay as you're going through which is I think is a pretty cool feature you know you can't do that many games anyway challenges so challenges are basically pretty much your bog standard uh, game mode here I'd say because you've got challenges and you've got races now challenges you've just got to get to the end uh, as you can see and it gives you a rating uh, based on whether you did well or, or, or not so good so one to three stars a bit like Angry Birds rating system really and to be honest they're uh, quite fun the environments look really good and uh, the uh, sound and animation uh, of the characters are really really nice it's definitely uh, well it, it's a specific in its genre but it's, it's it's really decent looking game you know he hasn't uh, the person or uh, people who have done this haven't uh, shied on the graphics side of it. The graphics are actually pretty decent for for an arcade game. So you've also got a uh, adrenaline race, which is really really difficult. It's, this is just basically a standard uh, race mode, and as you can see, I cannot seem to finish uh, them very well because I always crash into things. But um, it's it's just tough because uh, everyone seems to be a lot quicker than you are. So uh, other than that, you know, you've got different environments again, like on the uh, other mode, and uh, they all look really, really great. Also, you've got a freestyle, which, as you can guess, you can choose your own area with your own points, and depending on your day of time or, or weather and stuff, you can choose, and then you can uh, obviously try and do that uh, and and just change the effects, really. Which is again, you know, pretty cool. It's. Um, not obviously, I wouldn't say it's one of the better modes. I'd say uh, challenges and adrenaline race, it, they're both pretty awesome modes. But freestyle is just kind of if you want to mess about and and see what it's like to crash at 100 mile an hour into the side of a mountain, that sort of thing. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool though, a nice added little feature. But as I say, it's just a shame there's no online. It really is, because uh, this would have been cool to play with friends. It definitely would have been really cool to play with friends. Although it looks great. Now, uh, you've got the achievements, which are pretty much bog standard achievements, you know. Um, some of them are secret achievements, which intrigue me. However, I haven't actually found any yet. But I'm sure I'll get there. Anyway, we'll go into uh, the challenges mode. Just to show you, there is actually a character selection. So if I go into. Uh, let's go into Switzerland. Right, so as you can see, the loading screens are really, really quick. You know, there's no problems with loading screens, they're always really quick. And. Uh, You've got a start, which will bring up your menu, which is uh, shown on the bottom of the screen there. You've got a start, which you'll jump off, and then you've got X to, to change character. Now, if you press X, you've got a character roster list, which is, is again, pretty nice. You know, I thought you were just going to get given one dude, but you've, you get given a whole range of dudes, and they're all uh, different in their weight, speed, and maneuverability. So, uh, this person, for example, is kind of averaged out, whereas down here, this guy's super quick. And uh, this guy's probably a little bit better to use, but some of them require some racing to unlock him. You see uh, adrenaline racing, and uh, some of them require uh, different chapters you to complete to actually unlock the character, which is pretty cool. And also, you've got the flying squirrel. Yeah, I don't think there's any other uh, dude that looks. Uh, well, Dracula looks kind of cool. They're all kind of dressed up in uh, pretty cool suits, to be fair. So, as a flying squirrel, she's uh, pretty low on the speed side, but uh, if you press A to start, you'll see now we just jump down and all we've got to do is get through these rings and the game sounds beautiful it really does sound superb there's uh, great sound effects there and it does feel like you're uh, falling through there um, and uh, it also looks great although there's a slight blur enhancement I believe because you're falling so great but it still looks really really cool and 
as I say, the graphics are nice. You know, it doesn't look uh, it doesn't look terrible. It really doesn't. There's uh, certainly worse games out there. Uh, <coughs> State of Decay, not to mention any. And um, yeah, so the game's been released today. I haven't encountered any bugs, and I've been playing it for a few hours now. I haven't encountered any glitches, problems. The game hasn't crashed. The game runs really smooth at uh, what seems to be a pretty steady frame rate. And well, it's just. It's just a pretty cool, interesting game. There's there's no other game on the uh, marketplace in this genre at all. So, yeah, this is definitely a game that uh, I'd recommend purchasing if you're into skydiving. Uh, if you're not so much into skydiving, but you're into sort of uh, different racing games, you know, this, this game's still pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, you know, unless you're really interested in the niche, I don't think there's uh, much reason for, you know, for example, if you're a first-person shooter fan, you're not going to pick this up. But uh, I would recommend it, like I say, it's definitely a great looking game and the sun looks really nice shining on the snow over there. Uh, and it's out for Xbox 360 uh, for £5.59 uh, I believe, something like that. So it would have been 600 Microsoft points back in the day. And uh, as you can see now, with the squirrel, open the parachute and land on the ground. Anyway guys, this game for me gets a 7 out of 10. This game's good. Don't go wrong. It's uh, it's not great, but it's a particular game. You know, it's uh, it definitely takes a, a person who likes. To